today I want to show you how to do uh, a self-portrait in charcoal. We're just going to start with the beginning stages. First thing I want you to do is look at the back of your head and kind of search out the oval of your whole skull. Okay? Just really look for that shape, even if it's underneath hair, you can find it. And then on top of that, you're going to try to find the oval of your face. Okay. And you'll see that maybe your neck connects back here to the kind of shape in the back of your skull. All right, so that's how you're going to start. It's pretty basic. Uh, you do not want to start with features just yet. You're just going to begin with the general shape and then edit down from there. Things are always better when you start general and then get specific. Okay. Next what I'm going to do is find the line of the eyes which you can see is about halfway between the chin and the top of the skull. Okay. And the line of your eyes, you can see I'm measuring right now, that's what I'm doing. So I'm trying to find the angle of my eyes when I look in the mirror and I can see, okay, Here's about that middle point between my eyes, at the very center of my face. Cut this way and cut this way. And from that point, I can sort of see that my eyes come up a little bit. Oh, maybe that point's a little closer to halfway down. So it's like that, okay? And you'll see, you can either think of that line as a straight line or as a curve because it wraps around your head. Now, let's see. Now that you have sort of your head cut into half, it's about right, uh, you're going to begin to build off of that. I find the most useful thing to do from here is to really measure the angle of your nose because that's a feature that's really specific to you. Everybody's nose is different. And the way your nose kind of comes out from this center point on your head is really specific to the way that you look. So if you want to build a likeness, then you have to find this angle. The next thing you're going to do is sort of look at your nose in the mirror. I'm in a three quarters view, which I'm going to encourage you to do. Um, so right now in the camera, it looks like I'm in profile. But when I'm looking at my face, I can see um, I can see uh, both the side of my face and the front of my face. I can see both, and it's kind of the corner in between the front and the side is what's facing the mirror. So that's kind of over here. Now, the next thing I want you to do after you find the angle of the nose is to really find the ball of the nose. That's right here. Everybody's got one. Everybody has their own kind of shape to that. Um, and I want you to just draw it in as a ball. Now, some people have a much sharper nose, some people have a softer nose, so that ball will be bigger or smaller. But what I want you to really pay attention to is how far is the ball of the nose from the edge of the face. So as I start to construct um, the edge here, Going to break it down into angles a little bit. I find that helpful. So you can see I'm really paying attention to how far this part of the nose is from this edge of the face. Okay. And now I can begin to look at the underside of the nose. I don't want you to find nostrils or anything just yet. Um, just try to find kind of what's that shape there where this separation in between your nostrils comes down and meets your upper lip. What does that look like? And can you see the upper lip come straight down and connect to your top lip? If you can't, that's great. Use that centrality of the face to help you map out your features. Okay. Oh, looks like Okay, 
So now we've got the line of the eyes, the angle of the nose, the ball of the nose, and the start of the lips. And before you draw in the actual edges of the lips, the outline, what I want you to really focus on is the line in between your lips, where they actually come together. So even though I've marked out where maybe the top of my lip is, I'm really going to start by focusing on that line of the lips. Okay, and even, you know, just like your nose, that line of your lips is really central to how you look. Paying, I was paying special attention to where the middle of my lips are and how that connects to this line in between your upper lip. Okay. You'll also notice that I'm being pretty free with this edge. I'm kind of reworking it as I go. And that's because uh, this information here at the center of the face is helping me figure out where this should be. Okay, and I can tell if I go straight up from my lips, I should be at about where my eyes are. Yeah, I'm going to show you how that looks. So if I go straight up from the edge of my lips, where does that hit my eye? You could do that on either side and it can help you figure out, okay, my eyes are kind of here. And that means this probably, this kind of indentation of my brow pushes over a little bit. And That can help me figure out where my chin is. It's not over here like I originally thought. It's more like out here. Okay. Now. Good. You with me so far? So we have, even though it's really rough, we have eyes, nose, and mouth. Um, it's really important that you don't get too invested in any one feature before you figure out where they all exist together. Because if you spend a lot of time getting the perfect eye and it's in the wrong place, it's really hard to change. Okay. Now I'm going to use angle measurement to uh, double check my features and make sure they're in the right place. So I'm going to measure again the angle in between my eyes. Is that right? looks pretty good. Okay, is the angle of my nose correct? Yep, I think that's good, but it kind of comes in a little bit. Here. Okay, and let's see. What about the edge, the tip of my nose, to the corner of my eye? I'm making a measurement like this. Let me see if I can show you. Like that. I'm going from the tip of my nose to the corner of my eye. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So you form this sort of triangle from the tips of your eyes to your bottom of your nose. And that triangle, if you can find it, can really help you. I'm just I'm still sort of approximating where the edge of my eyes are, but so I can can help me find that too. Good. All right. Here. Uh-oh. See, this angle is like this. All right. So, one of the special things about drawing is that after you do it for a while, you get really hungry for mistakes. It feels good figure out something new. So 
So I just found out that this eye is too far in. So the edge of my face would have been too far in. So that means I can correct it and push the edge of my face out a little bit more. Okay, so now I have eyes in the right place, nose in the right place. I'm going to find my ear. So uh, the easiest way to find your ear is to use your eyes and your nose, the bottom of your nose, to locate it back here. You want to pay special attention to this distance. Turn on my computer so I can see. All right, so the distance from here to there, you really want to pay attention to because there's so much going on here that we pay attention to with eyes and ears and, and mouth. We want to see if somebody likes us or hates us, right? That's all so important here. But there's not as much information over here, right? Kind of on the side of our face. So we tend to shrink this distance because it's less important to us emotionally. And uh, then we end up moving ears kind of into the face. <clears throat> so you want to actually measure what's this distance here. So I'm going to do that using an eye length. So I'm going to measure the width of my eye. Here, let me show you how I'm doing that. So I'm taking this charcoal and I'm just marking with my finger from one part of my eye to the other. So that eye width, I can then move down my face and see how far that distance is. So one, two, and a half. So my, I think my ear is about there. Great. Now what I'm also going to do is use my eye and go kind of, I'm going to measure horizontally from here to here, from the edge of my eye, straight horizontally out and see where it intersects the ear. You know, is the tip of my ear above or below that? You can see it's a little bit above. I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom of my nose. Whoa. It's the exact same. That's great. So, well, let me just make sure that's the same in this mirror. Ah, though, okay. So, the way I'm oriented in the mirror, my ear is slightly lower. So, it does come a little bit above that line, <coughs> but then my ear comes in a little bit below um, the line of my nose. Okay. So, again, Everything about drawing is estimation, approximation, and then revision. Just like anything else you're going to make. If you're trying to find a new recipe, if you're trying to write a paper, even relationships. Everything is about doing your best and then you know, learning and fixing. Okay, great. Now I've got my ear, or where I think it might be, and I can use that, just like I use the features of my face to help me understand where the edge of my face was. I'm going to do the same thing here with my ear. So I'm going to go realize, like, okay, my ear is there, then the back of my head is probably more like that. And I could start to find my jawline. I've got a beard here. It makes it a little bit easier to see. And I can pull my neck down. You don't want to treat your neck like a separate thing. Um, you want to really make sure your neck is connected to your head. If you just focus on your face and not the whole kit and caboodle, it'll look like you have a mask instead of being a whole person. We want to draw you as a whole person. Okay. Great. So, it looks pretty general, but 
it should be enough for us to get started. Let's see if you can see there. Right? We're just beginning with measurements, getting everything in place first. Then, after we build this kind of mannequin-esque uh, creature that has the same proportions as you, we get to individuate it and really turn it into you. Okay, that will be next.